There's a place in Canada so boring that according to Google, it has earned the title of the most boring city in the entire country. Oh no, so boring. What are we gonna do? So today I'm gonna show you how I explored the most dangerous part of this city, what the locals are like, and how I was almost arrested because I decided to film in one of the most secure buildings in the entire country. But before we get to that, I had to travel over 300 miles on Canada's worst rated train just to answer one question. Is Ottawa really the most boring city in Canada? All right, so we have officially arrived in the most boring city in all of Canada. And it is absolutely freezing at minus 10. Now I'll be honest, with these videos, I usually have some sort of plan, but when I was doing research and figuring out what to do, there was literally nothing. For example, some of the top results was go to the beach, go to the mall, and other basic things. So I think the plan right now is we're gonna go head downtown and ask some locals what the best things are to actually do. But the only problem is I have no idea how I'm supposed to get there. And as soon as I got outside looking for a taxi, I noticed the transit station just off to the side. All right, so apparently this local transit is supposed to take me all the way downtown, but the only problem is I have no idea how it works. So hopefully this gets us downtown, otherwise we're gonna be pretty lost. Please have money on it, please have money on it. Oh, let's go. All right, we don't want east and we definitely want downtown. So it looks like we are here and we need to somehow get all the way down in this area over there. I'll be honest, I really had no idea what the plan was gonna be. So I decided to take the train down to the University of Ottawa because apparently this was one of the busier areas of the city. All right, so I decided to get off at the University of Ottawa because this is the only place I kind of am familiar with. And I'm hoping there's gonna be other people my age here that I could ask what to do. But it turns out that even though it was a weekday, this place was an absolute ghost town. Everywhere I looked, there wasn't a person in sight and I had no idea where I was going. So I've come to the conclusion I am probably lost because there is nobody around me. So wish me luck because this isn't going well whatsoever. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah. Can I ask you a question? Oh, what God. What is there to do in Ottawa? Fucking nothing. Nothing? <laughs> yeah, not much. Okay, thank you. People are just so nice around here, eh? Can I ask you guys a question? Sure. What is there to do in Ottawa? Literally nothing. Other than freeze. That's it? Go do the mall. Okay, I'll do that. Thank you. Yeah. Have a good one. This, uh... This is this isn't going well. <laughs> what is there to do here? Um, is there anything? <laughs> uh, <laughs> Ottawa is supposed to be one of the biggest city in Canada, but it's boring stuff. The the stuff to do, but we just don't know. It's hard to find. It, yeah, it's hard to find. The clubs are pretty good too. What else? Um, Parliament building. Should I go check that out? I guess yeah. <laughs> Parliament building. I think that's it. To be okay. Thank you. Have a good one. No problem. Cheers. Well, I guess even the locals realize this place is boring. <laughs> But despite what the locals told me, I was determined to prove that the city was at least slightly interesting. So the mall that people kept talking about is this one right here, but we're not gonna do that yet. I think the first thing that we're gonna do is head to the parliament buildings, cause maybe that'll be interesting. And then if all else fails, we'll go check out this mall. I am not convinced Ottawa is this boring. So after leaving the university, I made my way through the downtown and headed toward the parliament buildings because apparently this place isn't supposed to be boring. All right, so to the average person, you might not find this cool, but that is the Senate of Canada. For all you Americans out there, that is pretty much our equivalent to your Senate. And then this is the Parliament building, which is pretty much the Canadian equivalent to the White House. And a super interesting fact is that this entire road used to be completely open. As far as I know, it is now closed from here all the way to the lights at the very end. And the reason why it's now closed is because during COVID, there was something called the Freedom Convoy, which is when a bunch of protesters gathered right here to protest the COVID lockdown. And then our leader, Justin Trudeau, got scared, banned everyone from this area, and close all the roads. But while I'm here, I realized that you could actually book free tours of this entire place. So that is exactly what I did. Right now we're currently here and we have to go all the way over there. Hopefully it's warm inside because I swear to God, I am getting frostbite right now. There we go. I don't know why I'm terrified to have a camera around here. I just think there's like snipers on top of one of these buildings or something. And I'm not even sure if I'm allowed to bring a camera or my bag on this tour. So hopefully they don't take this from me. Hi. Is this where you go for the House of Commons tour? Do you have a ticket already? Yeah, I do. Oh, can I come in? Yeah. 
Okay, thank you. And while I was talking to this lady, she told me filming wasn't allowed. And after getting through security, I had to come up with a plan. So I totally got here way too early. And on top of that, they confiscated my tripod for my camera. And coming in, they said I wasn't allowed to film and I could only take photos. But obviously we are still gonna film, but hopefully we don't get arrested. And the reason why filming isn't allowed is because it is a federal building. But after passing through the first hallway, I noticed the signs which said it is only not allowed during house sessions. So after passing the security cameras and two armed guards, it seemed like I was finally in the clear. The room they brought us into next was the main area where the government has all of its meetings and debates, which was littered with no filming and photo warnings, but after that we were taken downstairs. The next room we were brought into was full of old paintings, and after that we got a closer look into the House of Commons. And I'll be honest, I thought there was going to be way more to this tour, but after passing two more armed guards, it turns out that that was all it was. You know what, I won't lie, that was actually pretty cool. And I'll be honest, I didn't know how serious they were about filming but i was reading those signs and pretty much every single one of them said don't film or you'll be charged and i mean i don't think i filmed anything bad but hopefully nothing happens to me now after leaving the tour it turned out that a whole blizzard decided to start and i noticed this really cool hotel which turned out to be one of the most haunted in all of canada so if you guys want maybe i'll go investigate it in the future after that i headed to the national gallery of canada which ended up being closed but at least i got to see this very interesting sculpture before noticing the fact i was getting hypothermia so it's time we check out the mall like the kids told us earlier I'll be honest, sure the mall was big and full of expensive stores, but at the end of the day, it was just another mall. But at least there were still a few things more that I had planned today. I'll be honest, the mall isn't actually terrible. I think half the problem is people are just addicted to social media these days and don't know how to have fun. But I do totally feel like a high schooler here because literally that is all I see. But on the plus side, I think I just found something that might actually be super interesting to do. So after leaving the mall, I made my way there, but I wasn't prepared for what was gonna happen next. Okay, so before we go to our final destination here, my best friend Lucas is actually from Ottawa and he told me I needed to go check this food place out. He might be a little bit biased because he's Italian, but he told me this place has some of the best Italian sandwiches in the entire city. Not only am I literally starving, but my hands are freezing, so hopefully this place is gonna be open. <sighs> are you guys still making sandwiches or no? No. Ah. Okay, have a good one. Well, shit. So I guess even though the place was open, unfortunately, I got here just before close, so they weren't making any sandwiches. My luck is literally terrible today. But the one plus side is that even though that place was close, I ended up exactly where I wanted to be because this is the buy one market. Apparently, this is one of the biggest markets in Canada, but unfortunately, yesterday, something really, really bad happened here. And I wish I was making this up, but apparently there was a completely random shooting here yesterday and hopefully nothing happens to me today. So obviously I'm slightly concerned and there are tons of homeless people around here everywhere. But at this point I am starving and I need to get some food. All right, let's take a look around here. All right, that's closed, that's closed, that's closed. And pretty much everything else around here is closed. Hi. Hi. What are we making you today? Can I get a Zups poutine please? Yeah, sure. Awesome, thank you so much. Okay, this thing looks unreal. Because we are right across the border from Quebec, poutine is supposed to be unreal here, and I was reading the reviews, so I am super excited to try this. Cheers. Mm. I can confirm this is a solid 10 out of 10. And while I was eating, I decided to search for one final thing to do. And I found out that everyone recommends checking out the Ottawa Art Gallery. So obviously I had to see it for myself. I'll be honest, this place actually looks so cool. Now where do we go? I guess it's this way. Excuse me, is the entire museum free? Do you just go wherever then? Oh, okay, thank you. I'll be honest, when I was younger, I never understood the point of an art gallery. But ever since growing up, I've realized that it's really just a place to enjoy cool things that people have made. And I have to say that I definitely agree with everyone who said to check this place out. You know, I know that art galleries aren't for everyone, but for some reason for me, I just actually really enjoy them. I think it's super cool and super therapeutic just to look at artwork for once and literally forget about all the social media noise. And I'll be honest, this place is actually pretty cool. But now one question remains, is Ottawa really the most boring city in Canada? 
Well, I'll be honest, as a tourist in the summer, it's probably way more fun than in the freezing cold winter. But if you ever want to live in this city, I definitely agree that it is very boring.